I'm David Rowan, I'm editor of Wired, and I have just chaired a discussion about gamification and how brands could use game design to try and boost recognition and engagement. And so, uh, how was the panel? What, uh, what did you glean from the panel about how big brands are using games to? They're very reticent to give any data out. <laughs> there was a very interesting case study from Nokia um, that's been working with Tim Kring on a multi-platform game called Conspiracy for Good. And I was pushing Mark from Nokia to come up with, you know, how much did it cost, how you measure the results, and it's a bit fluffy. There was some, you know, we had one million downloads, there were 130 people working there. But I think for other brands thinking, should we be doing this? You have to have some metric, some measurement of what makes it work. And you know, I think it's great that they're doing this, and I think it's a very creative execution. And I think it will actually position a brand like Nokia very well. Also had social benefits, charities benefited. Um, but I think you know, the more data that what? they are going to share, the more helpful it will be to other people. Do you think that, that is that hard numbers, or is there some engagement metric? What, 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 what data will bring it live for you? There are so many games companies and marketing agencies saying, oh, Foursquare is so successful, the check-in games are so successful, um, ARG games are so successful for brands, you know, a brand is developing an app, a playful app. But nobody can tell whether it's going to be right for them unless they've got something to measure it against. So if you are a financial services brand, should you be doing a game app? Well, it helps if you can know how well other people have done with it, because it's become a bit of a buzz. And if everything has to be gamified, if game design has to be the heart of every you know, coffee conversation in the marketing department, then it's going to be harder to maintain that freshness, that impact, that is really what goes viral on the social networks, that really builds that bond of loyalty with your consumer. So I'd worry, based on the sorts of discussions I'm hearing, that there's a fad. There's some real benefits from game design. It's very useful for you know, what's called serious games in terms of training, changing human behavior educative or medical training using game techniques. But I think once every marketer thinks, oh, there's a bandwagon here, we need to be part of it, it's going to dilute the quality and the impact, and we need to measure. So did you get the sense from the panel that it's the, sort of the game mechanics rather than actual discrete games or ap game applications that are where maybe the real sort of insight or the, the real development lies? Um, we had an accomplished panel. Yeah, they're all people doing you know, real things, building real value, um, and they were generous in sharing their views. The overall impression I got was, um, at the moment there's more theory than data about what works and what's going to work. And you can understand why companies don't want to share too much. Um, they don't want to give an advantage to others who are going to come back and try and do it better. But, um, let's not just go in blindly and say, hey, People like playing. Let's get them to play and spend money on our brand. Because playfulness, if you talk to hardcore game designers, it's not something that's commercially driven. It's something emotional. It's something intuitive. And there's been a bit of a controversy online about game designers thinking they're being asked to gamify things that shouldn't have a game attached. And you know, there is a gap between the marketing mission and the making people feel happy playing mission. So plenty of food for thought and a long way to go on this journey then. Um, look, it's, it's going to be big in 2011 and we're going to hear a lot more of it. All I would ask is let's design a game based on how people are, not how a brand wants us to be. And let's try and work out before we start spending lots of client money if there's going to be some real value for them. Thank you very much. Cheers.